When Apple launched the Mac Mini M4, it looked like a perfect balance of power and price. Even in the base version, Apple gave 16 gigabytes of unified memory. For everyday users and even many professionals, that is already more than enough. The M4 chip itself is fast, efficient, and capable of handling heavy workloads. On paper, this machine seems ready to perform without any compromises. But the real problem shows up when you look at the storage. The base version of the Mac Mini M4 only comes with 256 gigabytes of internal storage. Now, for a casual user, this may sound fine in the beginning. But once you start installing apps, saving project files, editing videos, or storing media, that 256 gigabytes runs out very quickly. And here's the catch, if you want more storage, Apple charges a huge premium. Upgrading directly from Apple to a 2 terabyte configuration costs close to 80,000 Indian rupees, which is a massive jump in price. That amount is enough to buy another brand new Mac Mini. So, this raises a big question, is there a way to upgrade the storage without paying Apple's high price? The surprising answer is yes. The internal storage of the Mac Mini M4 is removable. That means you can take out the original SSD and replace it with a third-party option. This is not something Apple officially promotes, but it is possible. And if you are willing to take the risk, you can save a lot of money while also getting more speed and a longer lifespan for your storage. Let's break it down step by step. The first thing you need before attempting any storage upgrade is a proper backup. Apple provides a feature called Time Machine in macOS. With Time Machine, you can back up your entire system onto an external SSD. This includes your apps, your files, and your system preferences. Why is this important? Because once you remove the original storage, the system is gone. You cannot just reinstall macOS from a bootable USB like you would with Windows. Instead, you will need another Mac to reinstall macOS after the upgrade. So, making a backup is not optional, it is essential. Once your backup is complete, you can move on to the hardware side of things. The Mac Mini opens from the bottom. The storage upgrade kit usually comes with the right tools to open the device. But here's a warning, the Mac Mini has fragile connectors inside. The power button is connected by a thin wire, and if you pull or twist it too much, it can easily break. So, while opening the device, you have to be extremely careful. When you finally get inside, you will see the original storage. At first glance, it may look like a standard M.2 NVMe SSD, but it is not. Apple has designed its own custom port for the Mac Mini M4. This means you cannot just install any random SSD. You need a third-party SSD made specifically for the Mac Mini M4. These SSDs are built to be exact clones of the original Apple storage, only with higher capacity. For example, the original 256GB storage in the Mac Mini M4 uses Samsung NAND chips. In the third-party 2TB upgrade, you might see NAND chips from other manufacturers like SK Hynix or SDS. But from the system's perspective, there is no difference. There is no separate controller chip like in NVMe drives. The entire communication is handled by the M4 system on chip itself. So, the Mac sees the third-party drive as if it were Apple's own original storage. That means macOS updates will not block it, and you won't face compatibility issues. Once the new SSD is installed, you need to restore macOS. This is where the second Mac comes in. Put your Mac Mini into DFU mode by holding the power button while connecting the power cord. Then, connect it to another Mac using a Type-C cable. It is important to connect to the exact Type-C port that has the lightning symbol above it. Only that port supports this process. On the second Mac, you will get a permission request. Approve it, and then select Restore Mac. This will download macOS, which is usually around 16 to 17 gigabytes, and install it onto your new SSD. After the installation is complete, you can restore your files and apps from the backup you made earlier using Time Machine. 
This way, your Mac Mini will look and feel exactly the same as before, only now with much larger storage. The benefits of upgrading are clear. First, you save money. In this case, upgrading to a 2TB SSD through a third-party option costs around 24,000 Indian rupees, compared to Apple's 80,000 Indian rupees charge. That's a saving of 56,000 Indian rupees, which is more than enough to buy another Mac Mini. Second, the performance improves. Larger SSDs generally have faster read and write speeds. That means your Mac Mini feels more responsive, applications load quicker, and file transfers happen much faster. Third, the lifespan of the storage also increases. A 2TB SSD has a higher TBW rating, meaning it can handle more data writing over its lifetime compared to a 256GB SSD. Of course, it is not all positive. Upgrading the storage is risky. If you are not careful while opening the Mac Mini, you can damage the internal connectors. If the installation goes wrong, you may struggle with Mac OS reinstallation. And if you do not buy the right kind of third-party SSD, it will not work at all. So, this process is not for everyone. But for those who are confident, the rewards are worth it. Think about it. With just one upgrade, you take a base Mac Mini M4 that had very limited storage and turn it into a professional machine with plenty of room for projects, games, and media. You save thousands of rupees, boost performance, and extend the useful life of the machine. In a way, you unlock the full potential of the Mac Mini without letting Apple's pricing strategy hold you back. This is the first part of our deep dive. We've looked at why the Mac Mini M4 storage is a problem, how third-party upgrades work, what risks are involved, and what steps you need to follow. In the next section, we'll go even deeper into performance benchmarks, real-world use cases after the upgrade, long-term durability, and whether this method could change the way people look at Apple's ecosystem altogether.